you're a huge inspiration. I'm mean, talking about you quite often on the radio, and you're an inspiration to so many people. Aren't you, really, you look at you know what you've achieved with the film and the books, and you're forever buzzing around to, to want to want to move on to do the next project. It's a it's a great gift you've got, isn't it? Well, see, I, I don't look at it that way. Like I don't think. Um, no, I don't think. I don't think about it that way. Like uh, at all, to be like uh, uh, honest, I think like um, I love my writing. Um, yeah, my life like a kind of change since 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 since, since the car crash. So, like I've, I've just I've just used my like I can remember a conversation that I had with you a few months back when when you were on about using using your strength and stuff like that. You using your strength. Um, use what you use you like what 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 you like got and I think I think I managed to I managed to, to, to do that quite 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 well. And then when you actually walk into it today and you see all these people, I mean you must be absolutely knocked out. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um it took, yeah I'm very, very like grateful for for every single person I've I bought the book. Um yeah um yeah but yeah but I I, I like kind of uh, agree. It's, it's, it's all a worry when you, when you do anything because people might not like it or people might say, "Well, I don't like agree. With, I don't agree with what you said in the, in the book." But um, but just my opinion. And as long as you're polite, like like um, that, the main that the main that the main thing in in, in it really. Yeah. And lovely again that you a lot of your old friends from the football past who like Hodges here today, and you know you see yeah. see the lads. Uh, yeah. like, it gives you such a lift, man. It must be oh, yeah. brilliant. Yeah, yes, it's it's and I also Ian there, like my uh, my other friend, my other life friend Ian, like um, we yeah. with good um, Ian being a big help um, with everything also, that, yeah. that, uh, that like I do. Yeah. So like I'm lucky. I've got a close, oh, yeah. I've got a nice little close yeah. knit, like band of friend that always yeah. always help me out. In 2002-2003, I was asked by Paul to write a few words as a forward for his book, When Push Comes to Shove. I felt privileged at the time, and now, almost 20 years later, I'm writing one for the second time, which I must admit makes me feel very special. Two things we have in common, the obvious, our names, but that we have a real love for Darlington Football Club. Our friendship is one that is cemented in 1997 at an away game at Barnet. Strange as it seems, it's engraved in my head step by step, or in Paul's case, wheel by wheel. Let me explain. Only 30 minutes into the game, my eye was drawn to Paul slowly wheeling his way towards a steward. I literally watched every move as it happened. I could see him talking with our aforementioned steward, and then the gate was open. Next, he was on his way towards another steward. Again, after a two minute chat, he was on the home straight. One more steward to pass, 30 metres from me and the dugouts. I was still watching the scene unfold when the game was still going on. And then, boom, he was next to me in the dugout. <laughs> Hodgy, what the hell's going on, he asked. I replied, are you joking? We are destroying them without possession. Paul sat and thought for a few seconds before responding. But the objective of the game is to at least score or at least shoot. <laughs> There was no bad language, no abuse, just a, a simple remark that killed me. I then asked him, how the hell have you got all the way around the ground to be here? Paul grinned before saying, I told them I was your brother. <laughs> <laughs> From that day forward, I've admired his nerve and his respect towards me as a manager and a friendship that was sealed for life. I have two of his books in my collection and I've read I have read about the bigger projects he is producing and the awards and admiration that's coming his way. He's an extremely gifted man. His disabilities which don't hold him back. He has disabilities which don't hold him back. But above all, he's a true Darlow fan and one I'm expect, extreme, extremely proud to know. David Hudson.
Yeah, you talk about quite a lot when we've had conversations, you talk about, and I, I bring in this narrative of people who maybe listen to the radio and not feeling great and feeling as though they've been dealt a, a real difficult challenge in life. But you've got the, the thought, haven't you, that you've just got to keep positive all the time, whatever I, you do. Definitely, yeah. But like, definitely, like, um, I would devastate when I had to pack, pack, pack in my job because I've been there for 20, 20, 20 years. So, like, um, and uh, I love helping people. Like, I, I, like, I used to do pe- pension credit, um, which is like is income support for like pensioners. And I, I used to help people with tickets, make sure that they got the right, right amount of money and stuff, and stuff like that. So, I, I used to live doing it. And like, um, so, like, it was really heartbreaking um, when, I left, when I left but that was all that was all down to, to my to my like like the car crash which t- totally changed my life and uh, and to me I could have gone one way or like or like or like the other um, it could have been I could have gone one way or the other and like and it was very very um, difficult time because obviously um, I was really badly injured and um, Unfortunately, the, the unfortunately the one any staff there, the one any staff in the, in the hospital to help me. So in the end, um, I sat out and like and like Ian, Ian, Ian looked Ian looked after me because it, because of the help. So I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to say it's so like Ian was kind of like showed what a good friend he was. Ian took a month off. Not many people take months off work to to, to, to that. Yeah, so like. So like I've got a lot, but but, the, but even then I could could have gone one one me or or the or the other. But um, but I stay positive and like um, I like I, I run, like recovered the, to the best possible 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 way that I, that I could. Um, I still serve on the PSD thing with with kind of get flat back from the crash. But like you you took a gut to get um. I'm missing the make, make, make the best of, a, of the hand that you get dealt. So what advice would you give to people watching the video, watching you talking about your life and looking back at the, you know, all the footage of where, how you got to today, basically? What advice would you give them if they're struggling in life, if there's a, many different situations in life that make people struggle? But what words would you give to say you've got to keep going? Yeah, yeah, definitely keep going and don't give up. And also, if you've got a dream, don't give up on like your dream. I think I think I might, I might have said, I might have, I might have said that the, 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 the night. Yeah, but, um, but 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 don't give up on like on like your dream and um, just just be try try and be strong and because um, life can life can be a, a bit a, a bit without without a uh, doctor. I've seen that almost I've seen that almost that car that car, that car crash in my in my life. I used to go to every down game home like, and and, and, and like. Uh, uh, away. Being a bit but, but now yeah, I found I, um, I found a different way to what yeah. about yeah. sponsor yeah. players and like um, I'm just like I, I still like I still like in, involved with stuff like that and so I still like involved um, in different ways and I try to get to many games as as as, 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 as I can. Brilliant. Onwards and upwards and every good race for the future. Yeah, yeah, cheers, Paul.